Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. As you can see, this time we're looking at a broken SID chip. Uh, this has come off one of the C64 boards I was looking at. Um, the guys mentioned uh, there's a pin missing, which there is, I can see there. But you can see one of the other pins is broken off, and they're on the last legs, these, from being manipulated and stuff, and I guess from when it was ultimately was removed. So, um, what I'm going to do here is how you can, you know, get back to the, the enough metal there to solder a pin. Um, is with one of these a Dremel. Um, we just need to. Um, oh, I've not used this in a while actually. I hope it's all right. This Dremel. Um, yeah, just get a grinding uh, attachment on. Um, grind towards you. So in other words, it rotates. If I show you, oh, sorry, it's not focusing, is it? Really well. Rotates that way around like that, um, and just sort of start on the very top part. Is this it might be plastic? This it. It looks like it's plastic, it could be ceramic, it's more likely to be plastic, I think. Um, and just grind away on the very top edge here, like this, until we get to the um, in parallel with that bit of metal there. And we should be able to see enough metal exposed to be able to solder. And then the second part of this, um, I need to mount this actually on something, um, just to stop this happening moving forward. So I think I'm going to, um, how's it gone? I find them stuff there. Um, I've got some pin header, you know, the inline pin header stuff, uh, which I just can't see just now. That is, yeah, stuff with the holes here. Um, you know, it's like turn pin, effectively. And you can see that. And I'll strip, get two strips of that, and I'll stick them on and solder the, any of these damaged legs. In fact, I'll solder them all, all the way on to permanently fix some of these on. So it's going to be a little bit higher than it normally would be, you know. But it's it's not going to, you know, hopefully it can bring it back to life. Uh, I mean, I don't know whether this works or not. Uh, I have tested it, but without that pin, you don't get anything. So uh, you, let's just see, see what happens. Um, I'll try and show you some of the grinding here as I do it. But um, it's important points to note, I guess, make sure you wear a pair of um, these safety goggles because you're going to get bits of plastic or ceramic or whatever it is. Um, coming at you potentially and the last thing you want is a bit of that in your eye so hopefully you can see that um, it's going to get obscured by this at various points as I rotate it and stuff but um, yeah it's as good as it's going to get and uh, the volume uh, I'll have to edit this it's going to get very loud I'm sure Just make sure the it's turning Yeah, it's going that way around, so I need to stick it this way on here. So we'll just start off slowly. Doesn't take much. So hopefully you can see that. Can you see we've just exposed enough of the um, the point where it goes into the die there. Um, yeah, the package is a mess, but you know what you're going to do. It's it's binnable otherwise. So if I now um, stick it into the pin header and I can solder a little link across there, and we can give it a try, see what happens. So hopefully you can see what I've done there now. Um, I've got those um, attached. I just need to solder solder these on so that the permanent um, one or two of the other pins just the edges just broke off there just from just moving the tiny tiny sound a little bit so they were on the last legs um, and then I could just finally get a tiny piece of wire and solder you know a little link across there so you can see I've got all the uh, the pins soldered on there now and I've just stuck um, this wire leg into there I'll solder that on um, bend it over snip it off and then join it solder onto the top piece so here we go here's the end result um, as you can see, you've got that pin joined um, back up there, so it's not focusing very well again. Let's give it a sec. Yeah, so you can see that pin joined up there. Um, every other pin is soldered directly into the 
socket edge there so you know it should be okay um, they're not quite as straight as I would like them they, they do met you can manipulate them though you can bend these around but you have got to be careful because they're all soldered together so um, but yeah I'm gonna give that a go now I'm curious to see does it work or not yeah baby it's working was completely dead before Sounded pretty good as well, actually. Good bass on that one. It's quite an old one as well, 16th week of 83. We tested out with some uh, different games and things here just to make sure, but yeah, I think that's, uh, we'll call that a success um, because now I've got uh, another working SID. Yeah, that SID's working fine. Um, but one thing I would say is it's not it's not 100% you know in terms of um, maybe some of the channels or the effects or something I don't really know I don't don't know enough about what's there I don't there's like a problem with the attack or delay or something somewhere I, I don't know it's just it doesn't sound as good anywhere near as good as my other C64 but the the low pass filter is very good on it um, it's very very sort of bassy and you know you get very low tones and things coming out of it. Um, where you should do uh, like bass type sounds and things. Um, just have a listen to this now. You put here. There are some good high frequencies as well, but it feels a bit bitty. Because that bass is good. I mean, they're all different sids. That's the thing you've got to remember. So I would say there's probably nothing wrong with this. It just. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is something wrong with one of the low pass filters or something. But anyway, it's only for test purposes. I'll be putting that on my on that the other board, the second board, um, that the guys let me have. Um, so it's a good uh, test, Sid, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.